the moment more than 100 people were killed. Most of the victims were South Africans, drawn to Lagos by the lure of Africa's most popular preacher, and they had stayed in his new guest house. <coughs> TB Joshua had claimed his building was destroyed by a terror strike, but the coroner has found otherwise. After months of testimony, he's ruled the building wasn't built properly and that Joshua's church had not sought approval for the structure. The investigation has recommended the church and the building's engineers be prosecuted. When people die in circumstances which are needless or necessary or could be prevented, um, we are saying now in Lagos State that it would not go unnoticed. The state having, will now look at the material before it and determine you know, whether or not you know, such individuals, the individuals should be investigated and prosecuted. Now with the verdict, there can be civil proceedings initiated against anyone, there can be criminal proceedings initiated against anyone, and there can even be disciplinary proceedings um, based you know, by professional bodies also initiated by, um, against the contractors, for example. Joshua's supporters, though, insist the church had actually been cleared of all blame. As far as we are concerned, we have been vindicated that we did not patronize quacks, that we procured good materials, that we use current certified engineers. So, as far as we are concerned, Indeed, the coroner's inquest has vindicated the position of the church. Joshua refused to give testimony during the hearing, despite a court order, and he wasn't there on Wednesday to hear the outcome. It remains to be seen what both the federal and state governments will do now. TB Joshua is a very powerful man with friends across the political divide and the continent, but this case is certainly not over. Some legal experts say TB Joshua's legal battle may just be starting. Deja Badmore, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.